Hi guys, welcome back. I'm Tyler, and this is my tabletop. Today we are going to be building the first squad of our Fallschirmjäger. Uh, the particular loadout is going to be based off of uh, the How to Build Late War German Infantry for Bolt Action video uh, by Hollywood Wargaming, which will be linked in the description. Uh, we will be putting together 10 models, and instead of using the uh, the bases provided by Bolt Action, uh, I will be using my little 17mm uh, magnetized bases that I use for my historical war games, which you guys have seen before. Uh, we will be building an NCO with assault rifle, uh, one basic trooper with assault rifle, and then a third assault rifle soldier carrying a Panzerfaust. And then there will be six riflemen, uh, each with a car 98K. One will have a Panzerfaust, and one of the riflemen will be a loader. And then the tenth man will be carrying an MG42. So I'm going to go ahead and speed up and play some music. So I will check in with you guys in a bit. Okay, so we are now putting on arms and heads and gribbly bits. Uh, so this is the officer, uh, the NCO. Um, 
So as you can tell, I have made 10 little piles uh, because I didn't want to trim things on camera. Uh, however, I would not suggest doing that uh, if you aren't recording it. Um, and obviously I use super glue uh, where most people would use plastic cement. Uh, if you have more time and patience than me, I would suggest plastic cement. It lasts, it, the bond lasts longer than super glue. Uh, so that first one we put together was the NCO, like I said. Uh, I used the binoculars uh, so that I could use a normal head instead of the, uh, the peaked officer helmet, he uh, hat, uh, which I can save for, uh, other parts of this box set. Um, and now we're putting together one of the assault rifles. Uh, so the assault rifles for the Fallstrom Jaeger are the FG-42, um, which uh, the, there are two models of uh, assault rifle that Germans get in bolt action, I believe, in late war. Uh, they are identical in terms of rule set. Uh, these are the FG-42 because they have the scope and uh, the uh, magazine coming off the side of the weapon. Uh, honestly, these models go together really quick. Uh, the only thing I would suggest that you be careful of is when you're picking out uh, extra bits to put on them, bags, bandoliers, that type of thing. Uh, decide if you're going to use a bandolier before you attach the arms because you will need to glue that to the model before you put the arms on, obviously, because the arms will be in the way otherwise. So, uh, that's pretty much it. So, I'm gonna, uh, go back to, uh, sitting and watching this and... I will catch up with you guys uh, probably when the models are pretty much finished.
And that's pretty much going to wrap us up. Um, this kit went together really easily, uh, but there's you should expect that. They're pretty much standard plastic minis. Um, I hope you enjoyed this uh, change in the video structure. Uh, I like showing off uh, what eclectic free music I can find on YouTube's music setup. Um, if you like it, please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, please go over to Hollywood Wargaming and check him out. Uh, I will talk to you guys soon. I'm Tyler, and this has been my tabletop.